when granddaddy had another family on the other side of town so oh my gosh let's talk about this i saw this video first of all I'll go back and look at that full video but i'm gonna come from the little clip that i uh stitched so let's talk about this <laughs> this actually happened in my family um so on my paternal uh grandmother and grandfather's side um so it's this little uh story that's going around in the family which i believe uh is true because enough people have said it and confirmed it and reliable sources might i add um so my grandfather he how he married my grandmother i'll say he flipped a coin so my grandfather had two women that he was able to marry. And so basically he was seeing two women at the same time, y'all. So how he chose my grandmother, he flipped a coin. So my grandmother won the prize, my grandfather. So I say that to say this. The women in the family are the ones, well, I'll say in my family. I know this may not apply to other families, so if it don't, keep scrolling. But the women in my family, both maternal and paternal side, we have been, I'll say, the backbones. Like, I, and I'm saying the men collectively have not been dependable. Now, there are some who are, but I'm just talking about as a whole, collectively. It's not it. It's not it, sis and sir. <laughs> so, my grandmother had found out about my grandfather having a child with another woman. So, when she found that out, my grandmother, she was a seamstress. To the point where she had her own little labels and all that other stuff and i'm talking about she was amazing from what i heard she passed before i could even um meet her before i was born so she had taken the time to make clothes not only for the child that my grandfather my grandfather had made with this other woman but for the other kids as well because of course the kids doesn't they don't have anything to do with it and I thought, you know, like that was admiral, admirable of her. I got these braces so it kind of like, <laughs> you know, mess up some of my words. Who, whoever wear braces, y'all understand. But anywho, um, she, I thought that that was very admirable of her to do that for the kids because, you know, yeah, they don't have anything to do with it. But I can only imagine like how she felt when she found that out. And just like the women just being tired you know like the women holding the family together the women being tired and how i found out about her death or should i say the story behind her death is um she i don't know if she was cooking at the time and she just took a break or if she was done cooking dinner but she sat down at the table and slumped over like she just slumped over now, from my dad, I heard that she had, like, low blood pressure, but I'm sure her everyday life, you know, like, she was tired. Like, she was holding down the family and, you know, then having to deal with the BS of my, my grandfather, like, he even made a child outside the marriage and, you know, it was her who kept everything together. And I'll, I'll never forget when my my aunt who passed away she said that my grandmother was telling her you know um about children like having children and she was like it's easy to pack up and leave with one and that lets me know that my grandmother was not happy with my grandfather now i'll say the version of my grandfather that i got he was one of the best people i knew and it wasn't a lot of good people, you know, around. And he was one of the best people that I knew. I just got that particular version of him. And then to hear all the other stories, you know, as an adult, you get the real, real of everything. The secrets, the things that people try to uh, 
cover up and act like they are this and act like they are that but they really are not you know <laughs> it's just that other people's stuff are more open their um things are more visible than yours but yeah i just you know wanted to talk about that because we as women we do hold the family together and i look at my mom before she passed like she would say that my dad was the best man that she ever had and when i look at things that's pretty damn sad because i know my dad and it's like when I look at the dynamics of what their relationship was, my mom wore the pants. And I see that my mom, uh, now that I've had my um, experiences, you know, with relationships, I see that my mom was in survival mode. Like she held the masculine energy in the relationship. And I see that she held that because my dad didn't provide a space for her to be that soft, delicate flower to rest in her femininity. And, you know, I've learned a lot about my mom um, while she was here and since she passed. But yeah, so yeah, it's the women. It's the women that hold it down. If you all have your own story, put it down in the comments. If you can relate, you can't relate, learn something. But if you can relate, put your experience down in the comments. All right, y'all. <laughs>